Health Check 10, a new treatment is approved for HIV. It's approved by the government. It's a combination pill, and it was studied in Rhode Island. Health Check 10 reporter Barbara Moore Silva reports. Dr. Karen Tashima has been an HIV clinical researcher at the Miriam Hospital since 1995. She's seen great treatment strides over the years from when patients were given a cocktail of drugs. So the cocktail used to be um, very difficult to take. Somebody, somebody might have to take medicines five times a day with a lot of restrictions, food, water, side effects. Um, side effects. As a result, compliance was a big problem. These days, there are dozens of medications approved to treat human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, many of them combination pills, like a new one just approved. Presco Vix. Prescovix is a combination of an already approved HIV drug and what's called a pharmaco-enhancer. Which means that it raises the drug levels um, of other drugs, so it's not an effective HIV medicine in and of itself. But if we combine it with other effective medications, then, um, then the combination can work well. Nationally, 313 HIV-positive men and women took part in this 48-week open trial, which means all in this clinical trial got the actual medication, no placebo. Those who took part took the two medications separately. Dr. Tashima, the lead investigator in this 56-site study, evaluated the results. And we found that over 80 percent had virologic suppression, which means that their, the amount of virus in their blood was undetectable. So that doesn't mean that they're cured, but it does mean that the virus is very well controlled. Now those two pills are FDA approved and available as one, taken once a day with one other combination pill. But it's not one size fits all in treating HIV. There are a lot of other effective treatment options too. And Dr. Tashima says they're always looking for novel treatments like the one being tested in a clinical trial they're enrolling for now. So we're looking at giving an injection or two injections once a month or once every two months. And so this is a very novel um, approach to giving HIV therapy. We'll see how well it works, and then we'll want to know whether patients will really want to do this. What's really great about the advances in treatment, HIV has pretty much become a chronic disease instead of a terminal one. The key is compliance, and that's why drug treatments are being streamlined with fewer side effects. And there are programs that help with costs for those who are underinsured. For more on the new FDA-approved combination treatment and the HIV clinical trials at the Miriam, log on to turn10.com and click on health. And that's Health Check. Barbara Moore Silva, NBC10 News.